24 hours in a day, 1,440 minutes, for somebody else to get busy on the same idea as ours. We ought to have got the plane and flown out, as I said from the start. Do you remember I said it? Horror. My name is not Horror, it is O'Hara. You hear? Mr. O'Hara. Yes, Mr. Horror. <clears throat> but do you remember I said it? I said we ought to take a plane. Time, time, what is time? Swiss manufactured, French hoarded, Italian squandered, Americans say it is money, Hindus say it does not exist. You know what I say? I say time is a crook. If we took a plane, we'd be there inside 15 hours. Instead of, who knows where? I don't want any more talk about flying. The sky is for the birds. My feet are on the ground, both of them. Come in, Billy boy. What's all the fuss about? No fuss, Billy. We're merely wondering what course to pursue in view of this unfortunate delay. Join the peasants in their revels. Go to church. Write your memoirs. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I like an associate of mine to have a sense of humor. Good laugh does more for the stomach muscles than five minutes setting up exercises. <laughs> and now that we've had our moment of fun, and all the better for it, let's get back to the question. Doesn't this delay call for a cable to your friend in British East? Mustn't send cables. Can't you get it through your heads that the population down there has trained noses? They can smell a uranium deal like a cat smells fish. But aren't you afraid, Billy, that when our little party doesn't show up on the date you said, aren't you a teeny bit afraid that your friend might use this as an excuse to begin negotiations elsewhere? If my friend were looking for an excuse, you'd find a better one in the morning papers. What do you mean? I'm talking about the untimely demise of Paul Van Meer. But I'm appalled, Billy. What an unwholesome opinion you must have of your colleagues. To imagine that we... Look here, Peterson, you don't have to convince me of anything. You don't care what I think as long as I don't do anything about it. And I won't, unless you ever decide to sick that knife-happy little junkie on me. Watch yourself, laddie. Now, Jack, behave yourself. Sit down. For shame, Billy. I think you owe an apology to everybody in this room. And if you're half the gentleman I know you are, I'm sure you'll make it. As I was saying, Peterson, you have nothing to worry about. My friend won't pull out unless I tell him to. For purely venal reasons, that's the last thing I have in mind. Jack, give Billy a light. Mm -hmm.